Hello, my name is Dennis, and welcome to my Trailer Park White Trash Mobile Home Kitchen. I really do live in a mobile home, in a trailer park, and this is my kitchen. I am going to go way back in time. I'm going to return back to my childhood when my grandfather lived with us. My grandpa lived with us until he died. He died when I was about five years old, so that's a good 55, 34 years ago. <laughs> Um, he was from the old country. Grampy was from the old country, Italy, and he would occasionally make some foods that were unique for us. I only ever had this one time, and that was rabbit. So that's what I want to do, is I want to make rabbit today, but I don't have my grandfather's recipe. I don't know what he did, but I did find in an Italian cookbook a recipe for rabbit and saffron. And I'm going to modify it a little bit because I want to make a pappardella to go with this. If you're not familiar with pappardella, it's, the, I believe, the second largest flat pasta made in Italy, lasagna being the largest. And it's typical to serve pappardella with some sort of game meat. I have on the website a recipe on how to make pasta from scratch. That's in the recipe archive. And you can also look in the recipe archive for lamb and pappardella. That'll show you how to make pappardella. I want to focus today on cooking the rabbit. So let's get into the ingredients I'm going to be using today for making my rabbit with saffron. I have here a good generous pinch of saffron threads that about a half an hour ago I placed them in hot water. They do need to soak for a while before you use them. And then I have about three pounds, which is about one and a third kilograms of rabbit pieces three cloves garlic, one quarter cup, which is about 60 milliliters of extra virgin olive oil, one sprig of fresh thyme. You need two to three sage leaves, fresh sage leaves. I've got two because they're plenty large enough. Three whole peppercorns, one quarter cup, again about 60 milliliters of dry white wine. You need about half a cup or 120 milliliters of chicken stock. This is something I'm adding to the recipe because I want a lot of sauce. This is actually a cup of my homemade chicken stock and it's concentrated. That's why it's kind of dark. I'm going to be using roughly half of this. And then as I mentioned, I'm going to be making pappardella. This is my pasta dough for making my pappardella. This isn't going to make much. This will, this will make enough to feed two people. So if you're feeding a lot of people naturally, you want to make a lot more pasta dough. And then if I don't have enough sauce, based upon the ingredients that I've got here, once I, I reduce my sauce, I will add some heavy cream into which I've stirred a little bit of sweet rice flour to increase the volume of my sauce. I don't know that I'm going to need that, but that's an option that I'm leaving open just in case I need it. So those are the ingredients I'm using for my rabbit and saffron. I've got a skillet heating on the stove. I'm going to add my extra virgin olive oil to that and then put my garlic in there. I gave that garlic a good whack with a knife just to kind of break it up a little bit. And I want to cook this in my oil for about a minute to flavor this oil. I've reduced my heat here down to pretty much low. I'm going to put my thyme leaves in there. Stand back. That oil is a little bit too hot. Hopefully I didn't splatter any oil on my lens. So I put my thyme in there, my sage, my peppercorns, which I also gave a bit of a whack to. And now I want to next add my rabbit. I forgot to mention one thing. Now is a good time if you want to season these with a little bit of salt. I don't normally cook with much salt, so, but there you go. My rabbit now has been cooking for 30 minutes. I turned these over every five minutes or so and moved them around the pan. And so now I'm ready to start doing my next step. I have brought my temperature up to medium low a little bit. 
going to add my white wine and my chicken stock, which I have thawed out pretty well. And I'm actually going to raise my heat to about medium and bring this liquid up to a boil because that chicken stock was cold. So that's really reducing the temperature of my ingredients. While I was waiting for this to cook, I got to thinking, it's too bad this isn't a roast rabbit, so that I could come up with some kind of awful name for it, like Trailer Park White Trash Bunny Bake. <laughs> That'll get me in trouble. Okay, I'm going to wait for this to come up to a boil, reduce the heat to a medium-low, and simmer this uncovered for 15 minutes. Again, I might turn that chicken over, chicken, I might turn that rabbit over. And by the way, you could do this with chicken pieces if you wanted to. I'm going to turn that rabbit over about once every five minutes or so. Okay, this is just coming up to the boil, so I'm going to reduce my heat to medium low and let this simmer uncovered for 15 minutes. My Liquid here has been cooking about 15 minutes. I did raise the heat to medium on this because I felt as though it wasn't reducing enough. I'm going to add my saffron now. And you can see right away that's giving that some nice color. Which is probably why it didn't need to be browned. I did turn this while it was doing its last cooking. And I am going to continue to, cur to turn this because I want to give that rabbit meat a nice color in the juices there. And I'm going to cook this for an additional at least five minutes. Meanwhile, I've got water boiling on the stove, so and I, sh I cut my pasta into the pappardella. So I'll be cooking that and then draining that in the sink. In my last step here, I removed the rabbit pieces from the pan, set them aside in a bowl, and I did decide to make a sauce out of this. I strained these drippings through a strainer, and now I've added some cream with a good tablespoon of sweet rice flour. And I'm going to bring this up to the boil. When this thickens, this will be ready for me to combine everything and then see how things taste. I'm going to put some of my papadella on my plate, like so. And then put, let's see, I'm going to put a couple of rabbit, rabbit legs on there. Like so. And then finally, I have my sauce here, which is just light. It's not a thick sauce. Just kind of drizzle that a little over the top. And there it is. That looks delicious, and that definitely looks ready to taste. Okay. Dying to see what I've got here. I did test this for salt, by the way. It tasted fine. It doesn't need any additional salt. So I've got a little piece of my rabbit here and a piece of my papadella. The rabbit is tender, delicious. Just how I would expect it to taste. Rabbit is it does taste a lot like chicken with a little bit of gaminess to it. Not much. As I mentioned earlier, you could do this with chicken. It would be just as good. So as for me, excuse me, I'm going to go enjoy my rabbit and saffron.
for a printable PDF copy of this recipe with step-by-step -step photographs, visit the White Trash Cooking website and look on the home page or in the recipe archive.